Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at the brand new Marquise Hollywood Brown. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button and turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button. And also, leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. We're live almost every single night over on Twitch. So if you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. And we also do have merch that is live right now. Um, it's only going to be live for two weeks. We got hoodies, t-shirts, masks, long sleeve shirts. We kind of have everything on that website. Um, so if you want to check out the merch, link down in the description. All right, so here is Marquise Brown. We have Goaty 50 out of 50 and full sprinter on him. And it's going to boost him to a 93 overall. And I do feel like Marquise Brown's probably the best card that we got today. I mean, yes, we did get Tony Romo. But, I mean, Romo's going to be overpriced. and doesn't get the best abilities. And I already made a game plan Romo today. So if you missed that gameplay, um, I'll leave a card for that video on the top right. But uh, Marquise Brown, 95 speed, 84 jumping, 93 catching, 87 catching traffic, 92 spec catch, 89 short, 88 mid with 94 deep route running. So... The reason why I like Marquise Brown so much, and the reason why he is so much better than guys like Henry Ruggs, like in his other fast guys that can't really run routes that well, is because Marquise Brown has very good route running, which is better than I thought they would give him. Um, and if this card does end up getting, um, it, as you see on the card right there, it says 60 receiving yards and a touchdown. So if he goes for 60 plus and has one, at least one touchdown um, on Thanksgiving Day, this card's going to get plus two. So he'll be a 93 overall base. I'm not sure how they're going to boost his speed. They might, they'll probably just boost it by one. So if he does get that boost, hopefully he will hit all three rounding thresholds. Um, but first of all, he has to do those things in the game. And Marquise Brown um, in that Ravens offense, he's not really that involved. So um, it's probably very unle unlikely that we do see this happen. Unless maybe Marquise Brown, I know Marquise Brown plays Madden. Maybe in the locker room, he'll come in and be like, hey, Lamar, I need 60 and a touchdown today. Maybe like Harbaugh and Lamar can kind of work it out. But um, yeah, let's move down to the ball carrier stats. Um, I know this card being 5'9 might kind of scare some people, but um, height doesn't matter as much as as it used to for a receiver. I'll tell you that right now. Um, like being 5'9, 170, and he, I mean, the, the only problem with this card is going to be the carrying. Um, at 81 carrying and his weight, which is literally 170, um, there could be problems there with fumbling. I'm probably going to use him after the catch a whole bunch today because I already have grab and go on him. So um, hopefully he doesn't fumble too much. But here is after the catch stats 90 COD, um, 88 ball carrier vision. With a 90 juke move, 86 spin, 77 break tackle. Um, and the car also has very good catching as well at 93, like I said. I didn't realize how good the catching was on this guy. But um, he has several of the abilities. Um, he is a deep threat archetype, which means there's no route tech that, that this card can get. But for X-Factor, we're going to be rocking Ankle Breaker. In the first slot, we're rocking nothing. But he can get Matchup Nightmare here um, in the second slot. Does get reach for it. Um, gets Return Man, mid in, mid out. And in the third slot, gets slot Slotomatic, Outside Apprentice reach for it evasive which is pretty interesting as well but we're, we're gonna be rocking grab and go today i ran grab and go on the tyler lockett gameplay a while back and i absolutely love the ability so we're gonna run it back again today um we're gonna run grab and go on marquise brown but um yeah ravens chems go deep 50 out of 50 like i said and full sprinter so we yeah, let's hop into it um the plan is just feed marquise short on those drag routes the zig routes the slant routes getting the ball in open space then every once in a while we're gonna try throwing that deep beater over the top of the whole defense I mean, this guy has the speed. Um, he has the acceleration capable of doing that. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to use this card. Let's do it. All right, here we go. That is our top three. We got Steve McNair, Crow, and Ocho Cinco. And he's got Enos Williams, Deion Sanders, and Brandon Cooks. And his name is Bulldog. Bulldog Madness, but with one D. Only one D in Madness, by the way. But, yeah, let's do it. Dude, of course, after the Tony Romo gameplay... We get the white Cowboys uniforms. That that's that is what would happen. It really is what would happen. All right. First thing I want to see is how he gets off the ball. Um, what kind of speeds this card's hitting? That's the first thing I kind of want to test with him. I'm gonna do a Texas route here. Looking good. Well, we have we should have him open here underneath. A little juke and there we go. First down for Marquise. Our energy's back and now we're gonna throw the bomb. I really hope he's still in cover too, man, because. I'm about to throw this thing as far as McNair can throw it. And now we got, now it's McNair running, rocket number nine in the Cowboys unis too. That's funny. Here we go. Give me some separation. That's Deion Sanders too. That's Deion Sanders too. Touchdown, Marquise Brown. 101 versus Deion Sanders. Straight up man coverage with the deep route running, with the speed. He's going to get wide open, man. This is exactly what's going to happen with this Marquise Brown card. 
Man, I really hope this guy gets a plus two, man. I really hope. Dude, only if Lamar Jackson can throw the ball like that. Imagine if Lamar could throw a football like that. He, he'd be one of the best receivers in the league right now. Gonna throws it up. Don't moss me. And I, I was having flashbacks to yesterday's Cardinals game, man. We, we only had one guy on him, too. He had three on him yesterday. Goes play action. Watch over the middle. We got everything boxed up. Over the top. Throws it up. And picked off, maybe. And for some reason, my user didn't want to jump. And, but it's now fourth and four. That ball's got to be picked off, by the way, man. That, 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 that's, that, that's bad. That's real bad. His main read, I think, was the Texas route. Throws it. Oh, my. Calico's open. Calico for a touchdown. Man, I had this dude boxed. I should have had an interception. And now it's a Calico touchdown against man defense. Damn, man. You hate to see it for sure. Wait, I think he's ready for this, one, actually. We actually have it again, though. I'm going to try throwing this. Go get it, Marquise. Nah, it, Wilson's going to animate. We actually did have Dion beat, though. We did have Dion beat. See, what I, what, what, what I didn't want to happen actually ended up happening. Um, I didn't want him to overplay it like that, but it ended up working out like that. As we, as we throw a pick, hey, and it wouldn't be a wide receiver gameplay if there wasn't an interception, you know? So here we go. Back on defense. Oh, I'm stuck. I, I got stuck. I, I got so caught up. This is not good. Someone's going to be open. Yup, and he hits Kittle. Man, if I, if this is, okay, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I know I can beat this guy. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to get mad at this game right now. I know I can win this game. It's just a matter of uh, me getting a little bit lucky here. But goes to read option, hit stick, and nothing. We didn't even get a hit stick animation. So that's not too good. Oh, goes to a play action here. A little zig route. We got everything kind of boxed up. Who's going to go to? Throws it right at me. Picked up by McCordy. We should probably go to the house here, too. It should, it should be a pick six. Actually, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. In the Tony Romo gameplay earlier, I took my. I was greedy and I took my pick six. Um, for this Marquise Brown gameplay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to get him some yardage. I'm um, going to get him a few more touches here. So that's the plan. This is what happens to me too often. I have an easy interception. And I come down and I throw a Steve. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. That's a little stopping. Oh, broke a tackle for Marquise. Oh, my. Okay, then Marquise, chill, my guy. We should probably, yep. Oh, no. He got two edge. He rushes four and lands instant pressure. Which is definitely not what you're looking for. But it is what it is. Get to the right hash mark here. That is the plan currently. Yeah, Marquise open again. Show me that grab and go. Get a field. Eats a hit stick. Doesn't fumble, which was my main concern with this card. And I just let him eat a hit stick. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but we're going to put Ocho Cinco in the flat. And we're going to try to hit. Um, oh, he has, he has edge threats. He has edge threats. In the one game, I don't have my edge protectors on because I'm rocking abilities on Marquise. We're facing an edge threat. Of course, that would happen. Do we have Marquise? No, I threw a Steve. See, like, I think he has, his, he has zone drops on. Hold up. Yeah, so he has zone drops on. So basically, like I, I expect, I don't expect that guy to play up that high. That's why you take. That's why you always take your pick six, boys. Always take your pick six as he's gonna throw it up, and we should pick this off. At a boy, Deion Sanders. But yeah, I should, I should take my pick six. It'd be fourteen to seven. All right, he's in cover three, cover three deep here. Uh, no chance we get him open. There's literally no chance we get Marquise open. And this guy gets a free runner at the QB again. All right, yeah, Trent Williams is getting quick sold. I'm gonna buy the most expensive left, left tackle on the market. Because this dude's getting shed instantly without edge threat. That was, there was not even an edge threat there, and he's getting insta shed. Um, that guy didn't even have an ability on him, and we're just, just getting insta shed. And the guy's rushing three. Right, my money's on a run here, and it goes to a pass. Just watch the Texas, and he has the middle wide open. Hit stick, and it's our football. Add a, dude, look, look at look at look at Denzel Ward causing fumbles. Um, I thought I was about to have a gain. I mean, like a gain of 20 right there. Ends up being a, a hit stick for a fumble. Out of boy. Let's go, man. Oh, we got a slide left here. We got a slide left. This guy's going to play Marquise Brown, but I'm prepared. I'm um, on the off chance that he doesn't play him. We should have a touchdown, but um, he's definitely going to play him. So my ID leaves Taylor. And just double team the edge threat. Roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. Cover three should clamp down. We should have we should have Hollywood for a touchdown. Let's go, man. So the, so the, so, so the interceptions and the safeties... Um, they all do pay off as we do get another Marquise Brown touchdown his second of the day. And now we have the lead. Man, was that relieving. Man, was that relieving. This guy, I, I'm out here. I'm out here doing blocking adjustments. I don't, I don't ever do blocking adjustments. I'm doing blocking adjustments. Um, but it ends up working out for us as we do get another touchdown, man. We did have, we did have everything boxed up right there. I'm not even going to lie. Oh, those up to the top. Picked off Isaiah Simmons. Go get Isaiah Simmons. Go get him right now. The card is still fire. Keeps the toes in bounds. Let's go, baby. Atta boy, Isaiah. Here we go. Uh, I, 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 maybe I may, I may have had Marquise if I hit him early, but oh my, Julio, chill. Julio, chill. Julio. 
Oh my, dude, this is a Marquise Brown gameplay. Julio, calm down. Stop trying to steal this show, my man. We're not Marquise open. Marquise, go. Go, grab it. Go. No, we didn't get the speed boost. Oh, man. Was that passly not good enough? I mean, I guess that is Deion Sanders chasing me down. Should have a, we should have six here. Give me that. Marquise Brown. 13D in the gameplay. Three touchdowns for around 190. I think, I think we have 191. Or is it 189? I think it's, we, have, we have 189. And a um in three touchdowns with Marquise Brown. Oh, Hopkins is open. Hopkins is open. There's four guys there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever broke that pass, I'm not sure who it was. All right, so that's gonna do it for the Marquise Brown gameplay. And this card was kind of everything I expected him to be. Um, he's a card that's able to take the top of the defense, but you can also put him on a slant or a drag, and he's able to turn a short gain into a big gain because of his speed, acceleration, um, his COD and all his ball carrying stats and stuff like that. So Marquise Brown. Um, definitely a card I recommend. Um, if you do grind those solos and you don't get lucky and, and get Marquise Brown out of your free 91, 91, uh, I think it's, I think they're called autumn all-star cards. Um, if you, do, if you don't get Marquise Brown, I do think he's still worth it. I bought this card for around 170 K. Um, and especially if he does get that plus two, um, and, and does perform on Thanksgiving, this card will be a top three receiver in Mutt. Um, I do, I do still think he's in that top 10, top 12 conversation. Um, because this card's also, this card's very good. I mean, it's hard to find a guy with that route running the speed um for his price and also his ability after the catch as well so but um yeah if you are still watching the video go ahead and comment the raven emoji let's do a raven emoji down in the comment section if there is no raven emoji i don't even know if there is just comment some kind of bird emoji down in the comment section but um yeah if you are new here hit that subscribe button and if the video helped you out over to the video be sure to hit that like button and as always i'll see you boys in the next one